if the best solar panels don't matter, then what matters? First, let's start by reminding everyone that any solar panel system needs two things to function correctly. Numero eins, a working inverter, and numero dos, monitoring. How else are you going to know if your fancy panel is being actively fancy or not? If any solar panel is connected to a dysfunctional inverter, the efficiency and output are the first thing to go. Imagine you have a 1.2 gigawatt solar panel at 100% efficiency compared to a pizza box covered in electrical tape. Clearly, that's a laughable comparison. But if the best solar panel is tied to an inoperable inverter, you may as well go with the pizza boxes. Don't get me wrong. Typically, the best solar panels have spec sheets so nice they have abs. But chances are greater that you'll have an issue with an inverter before you do so with a panel. At which point, your loss of output won't mean anything as far as the solar panel's performance is concerned. If you care more about performance and savings, I'd recommend you prioritize the inverter over the solar panel any day of the week that ends with Y. Plus, regardless of whether you opted for the new solar's 460 watt Xenium technology panels with cutting edge efficiency, warranty, longevity, or whatever, it's all backed by a wall of text that reads something to the effect of evidence regarding the basis of your claim. It doesn't matter if you have the most banging solar panels. It's your responsibility to monitor their performance to ensure it's in line with the benefits associated with the best solar panels. I hate to come strong like this, but I'm just a messenger to what all the warranty terms and conditions stipulate. They just do it with a vast amount of articulately challenging loquation to define their responsibilities and their exclusions, of which there are a myriad. People often get distracted by the glare of wattage, efficiency, and panel warranties and are rarely privy to the details in these warranties, be it the warranty for a standard solar panel or any panel that you would otherwise classify as the best solar panel. These warranty agreements are in fact word soups and are served by just about any panel manufacturer's warranty, not just the fancy expensive panels. It begs the question of why pay for the premium goodies if there's so much friction behind the glam? Manufacturers and installers alike all offer varying warranties and guarantees, but it all starts with being aware of system functionality especially since these systems are supposed to function for 25 years, right? I mean, that's the appeal of the higher end panels, is it not? Maximum efficiency and power? Well, guess what? With great power comes great responsibility. Okay, let's say you got a really good sales pitch that has you set on only the best solar panels, or your understanding of the nuances behind the science of photovoltaics runs so deep you can truly appreciate the quantifiable differences and nuances between a good panel and the best panel. The last factor can render the best solar panel useless to such a degree that some people would probably wish they had actually installed those pizza boxes. Hit the subscribe and notification buttons to stay in step with us on part three of why the best solar panels don't matter. Hasta la vista, baby.